go today at showing you my uh, the writing process I've been using recently. So I'm going to write a little piece of music completely from scratch and show you uh, how we go every step of the way. So you see I've got my main program, writing program open here using Logic Pro and uh, let's just get into it I guess. A couple of things I'd get set up with uh, how the score is displayed right off the start. Get that one sorted out. And get that turned off. First thing to do in writing a new short piece of music is to uh, brainstorm some motives to work with. So that's what I would go at doing now. A keyboard in front of me, which you can't see. Uh, maybe I'll get that on a future one. Anyway. <laughs> Hmm, that's one interesting. Okay. That's one idea. Interesting. Do something else with it. Mm, I think I like like how I had it before. So it's a little bit like this. Do that. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so that's another idea. So I'm just kind of making up ideas at the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make maybe 10, 12 ideas. And then afterwards, I'm going to go through them, choose my favourite one, and I'll write a little piece with that idea, whatever it ends up being. I think I'm the tempo a bit slower here. And the score starting to look a little bit messy, but uh yeah, we change the layout a little bit. Just make that. more space underneath each score there, so uh, each day, so we can see what's going on. somewhere. So as you can see I'm just making very short little simple ideas here and uh, you'll see what we do with them at the end. What should we have next? Let's maybe try something. Try this previous one, but let's try and trip this instead. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted. That's cool. Uh, right, let's just put you over there. Try with more of a variation on it rather than a new idea. Uh, okay, let's try something different. Let's try the... Faster. Uh, marking. So that's what we're doing. No, I'm not really liking that. Let's try it there. A bit more interesting. No. Interesting. Mm. 
Hmm. What if we can instead? No, that rhythm is not quite what I want. so far, uh, all in a uh, A minor harmony, I'll play around with changing, changing that later as well, oh, excuse me, it's pretty early here still. Let's maybe try something that's a bit more arpeggiated. What we do there? Not whatever I did there, that's for sure. Change a little bit of that, so let's have those two. Bring you across here, bring you across there. Then let's have um, a. Hmm, that's pretty cool. So it's a. Uh... Hmm. Okay, now I'm getting something interesting. Yeah, I like that. Cool. I think we've got a pretty strong contender there for uh, whatever we do later with this. So the process for putting together that, that little idea was uh, had a very basic arpeggia arpeggiation. So we've got the A, C, uh, sorry, E, A, C, added in a passing tone between these two chord tones here. Oops. And that's that passing tone there. And then uh, I originally had this. A note here just repeating then between all the notes and adding in a little reaching tone for that first little skip. 
pretty cool. I like that. Um, so that was a really good one. That was good. Yeah, that was nice. Well, that's a little bit similar to what we just did there. But that's cool. Maybe a little variation on this one. Oh. And that's made that first note a bit longer. So I'm kind of muck around with the rhythm a little bit here. Mm, not that. Anything more shorter. Yeah, that's that's nice, but my tempo is too quick for that. Let's bring that down a bit. You can see the uh, the screen kind of jumps around a bit as you go working with different stuff in Logic, which is annoying. Mm. No, it's still too quick. No, that's about right. Yeah, let's leave it there. So when I'm making all these decisions on things like tempo, I'm just, um, as you can see, playing around with it, just seeing what I like the sound of when I do it. Anyway, we were here. That's cool. Sound quite nice with a big distorted guitar, I think. That's nearly everything does. Oh. Uh, right, right, what do I next? What do I next? How many do I need? I think that's a definite keeper. Let's maybe just label that label up the good ones. So that's a good one. And you've got a good one. I like that one. Uh, that was nice. Oh, excuse me. I need some more sleep. Uh, maybe if I play around that a bit more, it'd be alright. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Okay. I'm just going to pause this and get a, uh, another cup of tea. Okay, so we're back here writing this um, turn, uh, not turnery, binary piece. And uh, I think I'm going to use this for the motif for it. So, let's um, do something with this. I need to do, just need to check something. Right, I'm going to write this for a string orchestra. So, a uh, string orchestra, we're looking at violin, viola, cello, double bass, probably got two violins in there. So here's my first violin, and to start off with, I'm just going to put my motif in there. Oops, no. There's a second screen here I'm clicking some stuff on. I'll see if I can get that up in another in the future episode or whatever we do. Okay. So let's just label this up. My motif. Right, uh, next, let's make sure I've got double bass in my program here. Oh. 
always. Oops. Sustain vibrato and vibrato goes to console on here. No. Oh, I do. Right. So it creates some MIDI regions. Make sure these were set up correctly. Triple blur, triple blur. Viola. Cello. Double bass. Country bass. See that it's a transposing instrument, so I need to make sure I have the clef chosen correctly for that. Let's get a string set set up as well. Ba -da 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 -da. Oops. So. And maybe there's a better way to do this. You can hear the locals shouting in the background there. Another lovely day in Uxbridge. Right, so I've got my score set, and that just lets me see the instruments that I want to see. Like that. Okay. So let's just make sure that's the appropriate MIDI channel. Cool. Right, so what do we need to do next? Next we need to kind of sketch out, well not kinda, we need to sketch out exactly what it is we're going to be doing with the chord progression. So, Well, oh, actually, first we should make the key signature something appropriate. What would be a good key signature for this? Mm -hmm. D minor, E minor, that would be nice. B minor, maybe? Why not? Let's have a go at B minor today. So, this idea, like that. Uh, I'll just a little bit actually. Oh. Da, 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 da. Like that. 
Okay. Could be a good rhythm to it, doesn't it? Okay, I think we can do some work with that. Let's just maybe relabel this as a native two. Might come back to that first one in the future. Might just sort out some bar lines, make sure these are nice and tidy. I do like a tidy looking score. Uh, right, what we're we doing next? So, we need a chord progression now for our first phrase. So, I usually refer to this as a harmonic sketch, and you'll see why in a minute. We're going to start off writing out some simple ideas, some simple ideas with the chords. Make sure we've got the chords that we want, and then we can uh, turn them into something a bit more musical. The relation is one common tone, no common tones. Uh, right, so we're going to start with one. Excuse me. Uh, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Four. There. This is. Oops. Phrase one. Phrase two. And what I might do here is that. So I've got more space on the page to work with this. Phrase two. two. Is it there? This is oh, that's nine. So just setting up a custom text style here, so that can have these A sections a nice looking box like that. There we go. Phrase one, phrase two. Right, then we're going to have a B section all over here. This is going to be in a new key with some slightly different stuff. Name text. And we'll have phrase one. One, two, three, four. And phrase two. Oops. Uh, one, two, three, four. Like that, right? I'm getting somewhere. Uh, make sure this looks right. Uh, finally, put a tempo mark in. Right, we've got to start writing some chords. So we're in B minor here. So 
So first thing we'll do, we'll just sketch out. Oh, we put the one in there already, didn't we? Drip. We'll sketch out our phrases here. Uh, no, not that one. Uh, one there, five there. I'll go back to the one here. Uh, I need to change key somehow. Phrase two. Be a bit more specific to the key we're in here. So we have a key change into phrase two, I think. So we have a one here in our new key. So we're going to the relative major of B minor, which is D major. So, I mean, D major here. Right, so now we need to decide how to get to D major and the phrase at uh, the end of the uh, B section, phrase two, we'll go back to, uh, back to B minor. Right, so how do I want to do this? Right, so do, 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 do. key change, key change, key change. How can we do this? So, well, we're going to need a five to get into that. Five. A Neapolitan of five. Uh, what's this all going to work out as? Might be cool. So this needs to be in D major. And let's just put some more chords in here. Chords everywhere. Right, so that's me B minor. Uh, this is D major. Let's be A seven maybe. Uh, da, 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 da. Five is a Neapolitan chord would be a B flat major. So maybe not the smoothest key change ever there. Oops. Um, um, da -da, da -da -da, what am I looking for? So I'm just looking up some uh, music theory files. I've got to check something. And WhatsApp is popping off in the background. There we go. I know it's on key changing. Yeah, so I really want some sort of pivot that I can use between these two keys. So I'm just going to grab some paper. Well, they've got all the same chords, don't they? Um, is there something more interesting I can do than a B, C sharp, D, E. Uh, maybe my only option is to do something not too, not too interesting. I'll do something interesting on the uh, next key. So here in four, ooh, uh, hate when logic does that. Rearrange my nice, carefully laid out things. Uh, right, so that's going to be four. Maybe we're going into the key of D for a five one there. Uh, 
Uh, da, 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 da. This code is. Yeah, I do that. Oh, button. B, C sharp, D, E minor, which is 2 in this key, so that all works out nicely. So actually, that's in like. Da, 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 da. D two uh, might knock it a little bit better. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. So one of the things one of the things I'm going to do with this short piece is uh, using some third relation harmony. So one common tone and no chord tones. No common tones, sorry. Uh, we're in minor key here. Major key. Da, 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 da. Minor key. So because of my chord change, I can only really put in some interesting chords here. So let's have what should we have? Could be interesting. So let's go for sharps major six to so a sharp minor six there. Here we're in D major. We want to be ending back in B minor over here somewhere. So I'll have a five there. One. And how can we modulate back to B minor? Um, da -da -da -da. That's something interesting we can do here. Yeah, right. Yeah. You can't see my desk at the moment, but I've got a uh, sheet of paper here so I can write some chords out. never do this stuff in my head. Right, so what we're we doing, we are in D major. Need to get back to B minor. And ideally we want a slightly more interesting way of doing it. Ooh, let's use a diminished chord of some sort. So I need to get into that five there for my cadence at the end. Um, so for my pivot chord, I need something that can go into a five. So if I had a diminished of five here, that would be E sharp. Diminished seven, which would be diminished of three in D or respelled. It could be that was that E sharp, G sharp, B. D could be a G sharp diminished, so it could be perfect. That'll do. So here I'm going to have a diminished seven of. Oh, come on, brain, keep up. Uh, five in 
this key, which is going to be the same as uh, to do a game track G minor with a diminished seven of five. And those two guys be down there like that. Um, let me double check that and make sure I spell these things correctly. So diminished. Wait a minute, what am I doing here? No, no, but it's not wrong. So we're in D. Diminished seven of five, same as E sharp. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so now I need a couple of interesting chords to put in for the first phrase of the B section. Uh, da, 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 major key. Come on, time, no, come on, time. So we'll go for, I think, this. So the major six going to a flat three. Ooh. Okay, so now we've got our chords sketched out like that. It's a bit of an ideal, wasn't it? Uh, now we need to actually write in some chords and get them voice led. So, or actually, before we do that, maybe I'll just line these chords up so they look a little bit neater on the page to work with. Uh, right, so vertical position. That's better. And let's also make this a bit bigger, so a bit more space here. That's better. Right, these three here and the new key. Let's set that up to be minus. Yep, 160. And then these actual chords. Let's set you guys up. Be spaced out like that. Right, that's better. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so now we've got quite a nice, neat and tidy score. And we need to put some actual music into it. And maybe some more chords. So we've got B minor here, our sharp six and B minor. It's gonna be G sharp major. Uh, going to a sharp minor six. That's going to be G minor. And then five chord F sharp. That's give us a half cadence there. Let's put those on the same line. Uh, right, chords here. We've got D major. Major six. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, da -da -da -da. B flat minor third, F minor, and then we've got A here, back to D. Uh, diminished of Five G sharp diminished seven. Uh, going to five in our B minor key, which is F sharp. Probably make that seven. And then to one, which is B minor. Cool. 
Right. So now I've got that sorted out. We can put some cords on it. Uh, actually, notate these cords just nice and simply using whole notes. Uh, so here's in SLs for B, D, and F. Um, F sharp. Uh, that not too high, so I can actually read it. Lovely. Okay, our sharp six. We said that was G sharp. So that's going to be G sharp, B sharp, and D sharp. B sharp, B sharp, and D sharp. So D sharp, G sharp, and B sharp. Like that. Okay. I've technically broken the voice leading here, which is um, annoying. Let's see if we can do something about that. Up a little bit higher. B. Sharp there. So we're doing. We're going up here slightly. So can we go down? G sharp. Okay. Now we've got a G sharp minor. Ugh. And now all that lovely laid out text we had. Been broken. Let's maybe you will down and change that note. What was that? That was a G sharp, wasn't it? So, the difference between G sharp major and G sharp minor is the B goes from where is that gone? G sharp to natural, like that. Lovely. Uh, next, we want to go to six chord, F sharp minor. So I'll put this in its first inversion, I think. Uh, wait, what inversion are these in? Visual root position. Uh, first inversion of that will be F sharp, A sharp, F sharp, A sharp. C sharp uh, A sharp A sharp and C yeah I think that's all we get very nice uh, going back to B minor that we started with To B, to B, not liking that parallel. Bring you down to F sharp. Come down to B. D, that should be nicer. Mm. Liking that. Next with four chord E minor, it's E, G, and B. And we're going to do this one. Just get back down to the low G. E. G. 
B like that. So that's already a six. And then we're going into A seven, which is A C sharp E and G. So in this root position maybe would be good. A C sharp. Uh, as I say, A C sharp E and G into our one chord for D major. So we have successfully changed key. D, F sharp, A, D. Ooh. Don't know about you, but my brain is starting to feel sore. Uh, the voice theme there is not very good, is it? Nope, that's okay. Um, right, let's make this a little bit more interesting when we go across the bar line. Uh, bar line, yeah. So let's change this to an inversion, maybe. Which is going to mean that all my lovely text, which we lined up earlier. Oh, logic when I did that again. Right, let's try it one more time. Let's get this text all out of the way a bit. Down there somewhere. Right, let's change this to a first inversion. Make things a bit different. Okay, next we're going to a sixth chord here. Uh, what's that mean? B, D sharp, F sharp, and A. <coughs> and A. Not a dominant chord, just B, D sharp, and F sharp. So we've got the F sharp here. So we can maybe go up to uh, B. Keep that F sharp there. Mind that down. D sharp. F sharp. B. Something like that. I'll update that one day. But not today. Uh, okay, then we're going to F minor here. So, is there a better way to do that? It's up to the D. Sharp. Uh, F sharp. B. D sharp. Oh, I think that's a better way to do it. That inverted as well. All right, next we're going to F A, F minor, F A and C. Jump down there. Uh, F. A bit there, I think. There you go. F A. Okay, going to that works out quite nice actually. A C sharp for our leading tone and E. That should sound cool. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, going to our one chord. Be D F sharp and A oh. make it major seven, maybe. Ooh. Enjoying that. Right, and we're going to wreck that lovely mood we just had by uh, slapping in a big fat diminished chord. So G sharp diminished 7. What's that got in it? G sharp, B, D, and E sharp. We'll keep D in the same place. G sharp diminished 7. 
So this is going to be like G sharp is when it's in D, which makes this uh, four three inversion, but in B minor, G sharp is one. Wait a minute. I get so confused using doing these things. Right, so in B minor, this diminished chord is an E sharp, in which case having a D sharp that makes it a 4 2. And in, well, no, in B minor, it's an E sharp. So it indicates oh, B minor, it's a 4 2. D major, which is where we're pivoting from, is going to be the G sharp, which makes this a 4 3. So, this is a, the nomenclature of a figured bass. Yet another one of the many brain teasers involved with uh, writing music. Uh, so, what am I doing now? I had a good question. Uh, ah, right, the rest of this chord in. So, put the D. Everything else is coming down. So, those two notes are really the same. Oh, wait, no, sorry, no, they're not. No, uh, just ignore me, talking rubbish. Uh, so, I've got D, I've got my E sharp, I need a G sharp and a B. And B there. Ooh. Moving into F sharp dominant seven. So that's F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and E. So the D is going to come down to C sharp. Uh, third is going to go up to A. That E. In B minor, it's G sharp. It's the fourth, so that's going to come seventh. So that's going to come down. To E. And the last one going to be in one place. What have we got here? Yep. Four. Uh, so F sharp going down to might be minor. So do, 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 do. you're going up to B, you're going to move down to B. A sharp stays put. Another one is going down to D. Right, let's listen to this little chord progression we've got going on here then. So we now have a chord progression completely sketched out, which is cool. So what is next? Next we need to actually do something with this, don't we? Oh wow. Right, I'm gonna go work out, have something to eat and have a shower, and we'll uh, pick this back up a little bit later on today. Cool, so yeah. So you, can, you see the first stage of the process here. So we've kind of sketched out the structure we're going to use very basically. Then we uh, wrote out the 
cadences we're going to be using. Then we filled in the rest of the chords between those. Then we wrote up the chords we're actually going to be using. And next, we're going to have a look at slapping this slot into a full string orchestra with some sort of interesting melody, which I'm not sure how I'm going to make fit in. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're back. I've uh, worked out, had something to eat, and uh, what's the other thing I was going to do? Had a shower, had an ice cream, it's pretty nice. And we're back looking at doing some writing. So, why is that not working? Oh, right, there we go. Uh, right, something I just spotted with this that maybe I need to fix. No, that's okay. Uh, right, so we've got our harmonic sketch here, which is cool. Looking very nice, very sketchy. And we need to turn that into an actual piece of music now. So, let's get these back over here. Oh, piece of music is this. Okay. Actually, I wonder if I can. Aha! Cool. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty neat. Of course, a little bit of an infinite loop there. Alright, maybe this is a better way to do it. So now you should be able to see uh, both the uh, the windows that I'm working with here. That's kind of cool. Give that a go. Anyway, uh, what we're we doing, what we're we doing. Right, we've got this. Oh, that's it. I'm going to take my little violin sketch and turn it into a whole piece of music now. Uh, set that to my string orchestra. That's the wrong place, that needs to go there. This needs to go here. And uh, I think what we'll do actually is we're going to add a little choir track to keep the sketch on. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I need to update my score set so I can have that at the top. Uh, let's just do this. Um, uh, uh, right. Okay, I've got this. Okay, and my violin piece here, violin's one, change that, that's better. Okay, wow, so I've got all these chords, I'm going to turn this into something vaguely musical. So first things first, let's put the bass. The bass. That's a fast way to do this. 
This is going to go in cello and also in the double bass like that and double bass needs to be not too lower like that. Cool, nice rich bass there. Uh, Complete score. I had that motif I was going to put with the uh, upper violin, and I might get the. Let's just uh, change this actually. You can see it's made the text all super messy. Not very helpful. Not very helpful there, logic. Let's maybe if I can change how we're doing this. Let me drag this all down. Ugh. Let's try it again. Drag this all down. Change it to a piano. Oh, there we go. That nearly worked. Oh, I have to see. Right. I was just changing how I had this sketch organized. So I can make the next bit a little bit easier for myself. So this is all done here. What I'm going to do next is take the top three voices, and copy and paste them an octave higher. Yep. Uh, let's take that. Okay. And then now I've got something I can work with here. Uh, So you can see at the end here, the bass is getting a bit busy. Oh, we'll do that when we get there. It looks like a bit of a mess. <clears throat> but we'll, uh, we'll make sense of it as we go. So I've got that there. We've got our motif here. Sounds a bit weird being sung, but it sounded cool with the violin. Uh, so I want this one here. Right, so this is going in there. And just checking, you can see it fits in with the. Um, these upper notes here, so that's okay. So I still need something for my lower instrument to do the cello and the second violins. So maybe I could do something with that. What do we have there? Just D and F. 
So, put my keyboard on, set that. What? E sharp. Oh, it's just my computer being thick. Ah, because it's F sharp in this key. Uh, not my computer being thick, it was me. Maybe then I've got D and B. So maybe here we go. D B That sounds cool. Okay, not a bad start. I'm liking that. Oops. Pressing the wrong buttons. Let's uh, just make a little go at adding some stuff in here. Might come out a bit messy, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so what do we have happening next? Got these notes in here. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Let's maybe do something like this. So I need this to be there. Oh, my accidentals are now wrong. That's right. No, uh, wait, no, it's not. It's a reaching tone there. So now it needs to be there. Uh, there's a G, so that's pretty much been A sharp. Uh, Da, da, 
Yeah. Da, 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 so you'll go to there and I want to have da, da, da. Yeah, that one. Uh so what is that gonna be? Uh I've got that there, you there, so you have C uh G sharp. B sharp. Um, something like that, I think. Hmm. Sounds about right. Some of those three there. Um, a G sharp there. Um, oh wait, have I missed a bit here? Those bases were doubling that. I need these three pitches here. So what I'm doing here is these three notes that we doubled up uh, for the top part, I'm using that for the main melody. I'm just creating a simple melody sitting underneath it with uh, the next three below. So we're going to have a G sharp here, D sharp, and a B sharp. Uh, so D sharp. Uh, wait. No, I missed one. Start again. G sharp, then that D sharp, and the B sharp back to the D sharp. So that needs to be there. That goes like that. Now on the viola track, I'm going to have uh, D sharp down to the B sharp. Which most people in the real world would call C. Uh, da, 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 da. And ideally, I'd like to go to the uh, something something. A sharp underneath. I'm not sure I can justify using that note. I right, missed the G instead. And then back to the B sharp. Wait. Yeah. Uh, 
So these three here, we can put that little idea we had them before. A little pattern. Short then. Oh. And those ones as well. Uh, that's pretty cool. So we're gonna we've got this half cadence coming up. So what we're gonna do is so this phrase ending on the five chord, that's called a half cadence. I think we're gonna start to slam the brakes on. Oops, JC. <sighs> so that we can create a bit of a actually a bit of contrast. Okay, so the way we're going to achieve that is to we're going to take this little idea, this little motif we started with. We're going to flip its direction and also uh, make all the notes inside it twice as long as they currently are. So we're going to take the top note here, and that G sharp. And it's going to be that long. On a note on my piano. Oh shit, where did that go? Uh, oops, wrong octave. Uh, there we go. And then that's going to go up to an eighth note. And down to an eighth note, uh, which will be D sharp. And I think I'm going to have that little motif in there twice. Uh, but the way we're going to do it is have it come down in the chord tones. So that's previously the top note. So now this one is going to be. Uh, the D sharp, which is going to want to escape to an eighth note, uh, G minor. G sharp minor. That's confusing. Got to get your chords right. Uh, so G sharp minor, we have this D sharp note here, so that's going to go up to the E sharp. That's coming down to the next chord tone, which is B sharp C. Like that. Right, so we've got that little bit in. So that's our top three notes here taken care of. So, nice little motif again, the second violin and the violas. This time we're going to add G sharp here, G sharp, going down to D sharp to B, to D sharp. And the violas. I'm going to go 
D sharp. Oops. Wrong track. D sharp. Down to B. I think we'll just play. I'm going to go down to the G sharp. I think we've got space for that. Yeah, we can double up that bass note there. Uh, back to B. Uh, sounds a bit messy. Is this not sounding too good? All right, I think it's because uh, we need a little bit more contrast between the two. So, uh, hmm. Maybe we have too much going on here. I'll just delete those two. Take these two. Top of them up. I know I got rid of one of the notes in the pressure, but let's look at that. Screwed up some of my velocities with the keyboard. Maybe we can get that last bit of the upper G. Oh no, I've got all three notes of the upper in now. Okay, cool. So let's see what we've got so far. Getting very dramatic. Uh, right, so nice and simple now for this violin part here. We'll go up to the F sharp. Like that. Nice and easy. get some of these three notes in so we can complete our chord here. Oh. So let's see a sharp bass, a uh, second violin, sorry. So that's going to go in there. And one C in there. C is sharp in this key. Mm. I say. Can you squeeze in a little passing tone here? That can be too much. Tasteful. 
Okay. Get some good progress with this. Let's, let's just take a listen to uh, that whole first phrase now. Sounding pretty epic. Uh, okay, so second phrase, we now want a motif that's going to contrast with our first motif. So our first motif is built on this little idea here, like that. Uh, I'm just going to pause this a sec. Okay, we're back, and uh, let's make this infinite screen of streaming stuff go away. Blonk. There we go. Uh, okay, so we need a second motif. Huh, maybe we've got one of these we had earlier. Right at the start. Yeah, that'll do. We can make that sound good. Uh, so you can see here, we're now about a quarter of the way through the writing for this little part. So violins one, can put our motif in. Oh, that's okay. Let's go up a view. Right. So what have we got here? Let's just jiggle this around a little bit so it makes a bit more sense. I need to put these cello and double bass tracks all in octave lower. I made a mistake there. Oh, super bass. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> nice. What are we doing? Right, okay. So, you spread out this melody across these top three notes here. And as you can see, it's currently not doing that. So, we've got that, that one there. That D can go there. B here. Da 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 da. That's cool. Uh, okay. Cool. So I've done that. What do you now? Think, man. Think. Um what is it again? Sixteenths dun 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 uh, right use those three so next we'll go to this one here. So we're gonna have a B that's gonna go down this time to D F D oops can't find an F on my keyboard. An F sharp, even, on my keyboard. Uh, why is that sounding weird? That's three. All right. There we go. D. 
be something like that, I think. Oh, that's cool. Uh, bump you up a little bit. Too high. That's cool. Uh, okay, so that's going to be that. So, what are second violins and the viola going to be doing? I need to take care of some of these lower notes for us. So, I think we'll just have something similar to what they did before. That seems to work pretty good. So, what do we have going on here? Uh, D, B, F sharp, B. Oops, it looks like we slipped outside of our violin range here. Oh, I guess that's going to have to go there. Uh, on our viola, we're going to keep that down a little bit. Oh yeah, this will work out nicely doing it this way actually. Much better. Uh, yeah, B, S sharp. Okay, back to our melody. Uh, da, 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 da. Getting tongue tied. Uh, e, G, B, G. Excuse me. Coming down to B, B, G, E. I think I'm just going to repeat that thing I previously, because that, that was cool, I like that. Uh, back up to the E. I think it was um, E, F sharp, E, D. Oops, uh, what's that one? Like that. I had that little two note idea in the violin and viola, uh, which was going to be uh, G, B, G, E, and in the viola, which is going to have B, G, B, G, E, G, B. So you get. Oh, uh, that needs to be there. These will need to be a little bit stronger. Didn't hit the keyboard hard enough for that. That's cool. Ooh. Am I am I gonna be tempted with some passing tones? So it turned out. Let's give it a go. I can shorten all these down. Um, is that the right? Yeah. Oops. I saw it done here. Let's make sure just this stage is selected. We'll get too many notes going in. Right there. I'm just gonna go there. Nah, too messy. Make sure that is saved. That sounds pretty good so far.
Take down a little bit. That's cool. Uh, oh, right. Quick pause there. I need to teach some guys how to play guitar for a little while, and then we'll be back a little bit later on. There you go. Get the infinite screen zooming. Screen, screen zooming again. Alright, let's pause that. Stop that. Okay, so taught a few guitar lessons there, and we're back to uh, figuring out the rest of this little piece we're working on. So that's how we do today, this evening, whatever. So I had a bit of an error when I was working this out with my cadences. So this D note here, which makes it a perfect authentic cadence. Wait, no, that's okay. Oh no, no, everything's fine. That's cool. Uh, right, so Doing here, I need another bit of a phrase. Go to ah, what this called here, right? So let's do something similar to what we did before. Um, so let's maybe take our motif and augment it. And let's also um, invert it. So I used retrograde last time, but we're not going to do that this time. Uh, okay. So what do we need to do here? We've got this, we've got this. I'm going to be going for that G note there, I think. Okay, G. Uh, up to the E, G, C, E, it's an A7, that's which should be a C sharp. I'll fix that later. And maybe just arpeggiate the top line afterwards. Something like that will do. I need these three voices here. So we have G and E again. Oh, copy and paste. Excellent. Hmm. Oh, I must have done an experiment with those and not put them back to where they should be. Go there. Need to go there. Uh, da, 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 da. G E C. Wait a minute. Uh, oh wait. And here we've got C and G on the what you call it. Uh, 
that thing. Oh wait, C sharp. Need to be playing in quarter notes here. Uh, C sharp. Ugh. Had that selected. Oh, come on. Cascading thing here going uh, a oops, it's not an A uh, F sharp to D. track we're gonna go D uh, and the uh, wait sorry it's not yes there's what I want D A F sharp Cool. And now we're in the key of D major. Alright, so let's listen to that complete uh, that's our complete A section now. Let's listen to that. So next, we're going to take Ugh. no way to not make that look messy, I think. Right, I'm just going to sort out these bar numbers because they're starting to get annoying being in stupid places. Oops, which is not there. Uh, da -da -da. Sport preferences, sport project settings, bar numbers, vertical position looks good. And at the start of the lines looks good. And this starts on one, two, three. Let's go all the way back up to. Here. There we go. Ugh. I have to come back and fix this later today. Uh, start with one. Okay. 
Right, and back across to where we were over here somewhere. Right, break that. And then you can see the bar numbers are now in a sensible place, rather than being at some random point in the score. Uh, right, so what are we doing here? Right, so now we've changed key to D major, and we now want to re-hear the melodies from part one in the key of D major. So the problem I've got here is I can't see them. Uh, let's open up another score editor. Yep. Okay, so it's going to be like this. Yeah, de-link that so it's not going to get in the way of looking at other stuff. Let's get this other guy over here that we're actually working with. Bring you across here. And I'll get rid of that. Like that. So this is just a reference score, so I don't really need to see the tool window for it. Cool. Embarrassing now and not work the way I want it to while I try and do something with it. Right, that should be off now, so that. Right, that, that can stay there. And you go here. Oh, how do I turn that off? Don't, don't do anything. Stop moving. Oh, I'm not going to quickly Google that. Okay, so I've got a solution for that. Maybe not a great one, but it will work for now if I don't get lost inside my score. Right, so that's what I'm wanting to put into my new key, uh, which is a bar 90 something. There. <laughs> uh, right, so let's get to work on this. So we're in our new key. We've Gonna have that right there, so that's gonna be the F sharp. Oops. Oh, I just thought I'd fix that, and now it's being annoying again. Oh. I'm gonna have to turn this into a PDF or something. Same way I can think of a. Okay, so we've got the PDF going. Um, Logic's gonna be stupid, that's uh, anything we can do, I think. Anyway, let's get back to business. My little piano thing gone. Let's bring it up over here somewhere. That's a useful window to have. Uh, right, 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 right. So, we've got this D note. Here, but we want that middle note here. So we're looking at an F sharp there, uh, reaching up to E, coming down to an eighth note, so D, uh, back 
the wait, what should I do then? Why is that E note there? Oh, I've got to make a mistake really early in the school. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Some better if that there. Uh, that needs to be. Would you get working on? Uh, going down to A. Down to the F sharp. A Yeah, I have to do, do that for this one. And here we've got A and F sharp. that note there. Don't want the bass to get too kind of mixed up. Do the same thing there. Maybe there. And there. Uh, or I could have put those not too far actually. Well, that could have worked. That puts me somewhere useful, doesn't it? That's 
these two. Oh, so I thought I would get there. Um, do, 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 uh, Right, B. Got the same idea here. So the lower of those three. Which would be in sixteenths. F sharp. Where did that go? I wanted it. Lovely. Uh, this is B major. So I'd want an E here. B, C sharp, D. My region tone. Yes, I do. And it's going to come down to an eighth note. D. Go down to B uh, as a sixteenth. And that comes down to the yeah, F sharp. There. So an eighth note, the F sharp again. Like that. And then the viola and second violins. We have F sharp, D sharp. sharp B there okay Sorted out. Which stronger, maybe? In fact, all of those want to be a bit stronger as well. sharp, F sharp, uh, right, so that's those two bars, might be over there, uh, next we took that little motif and we sort of Reversed it, didn't we? So we're going to our top note in that thing that we have. Uh, so one of those. So that's going to be going to a C. Oops. <coughs> Covid. No, it's not coded. Uh, C. Going to our escape tone. F minor. Escape tone's going to be D. 
coming down to A. Again. And then that next bar, we're just going up to the top node, which was C. And we'll put a passing tone in between there and there again. Uh, my plus B flat. There. Oh, that sounds evil. Cool. Let's get the rest of it in. I'll lower a couple of notes at F sharp. And C natural going to down here A and F natural. Uh, so that's going to be A. Bunch of notes. Um, I'm going to be missing a lot of notes. I'm not careful how I do this. I found that thing I did last time, that was quite nice. We've got the uh, <coughs> A down to what's next, E and then C sharp and then here we've got some similar sort of idea there we go, C sharp a. Come on, brain keep up. E. It's uh, getting pretty late here, so I'm finishing this off, which is why uh, my brain's not working too sharply. Uh. Something's not right there. This is our five chord A, so have A, C sharp, and E. A, E, A, C sharp. Ooh, I put C natural in, that's why it sounds rubbish. That's right. Okay. 
Okay, I've got a B to C sharp skip here. Mm. Let's make that a an escape tone instead. We can get around that problem then. Cool, cool. Uh, right. right, 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 right. So next, back in sixteenths, we're gonna have C sharp. F sharp, uh, A, F sharp, then it's going to be A, uh, da, 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 C sharp down here, uh, F sharp, C sharp, back to that top note, C sharp. Uh, D sharp, uh, wait, sorry, D, um, C sharp, uh, da, 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 da. C sharp, B. You can tell it is late. C sharp. Oh, it's got the wrong settings on the notes. That's cool. Maybe those can go there. We just need to pump up the velocity a bit. Yeah, that's cool. And back to using this uh, little chord note idea. There's two lower parts. So we're going to go. What are we going to do here? Sharp. Come on, bring. Nearly done. A sharp C there. I'm going to have C sharp A there. Mm. Very tasteful. <laughs> Not like me at all. Uh, what we're doing here, but it's crazy diminished chord next. Uh, all right, I have this similar sort of idea. Well, exactly the same sort of idea. Uh, so we have a G sharp, which be a note value right, and get the state working on right, all good things. G sharp. It's going to go down to B to E sharp and B. Yeah, it worked out correctly. It's neat. And it's going to be E sharp again down to G sharp lower to B G sharp and back up to that top G sharp note. Here we're following that same idea we've had previously. So we've got G sharp, uh, E sharp, 
E sharp B. Da, 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 da. Very nice, very nice. Then we took the idea and we uh, augmented it rhythmically, which made each of the notes twice as long, and we also inverted it, making it fit within the key still. Um, Right, so let's do that. So we've got A sharp. Ugh. Don't want it there though. Uh, A F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. Going to F sharp. Back down again. To E, that's all descending arpeggio I had. F sharp, uh, E, A sharp, and then just slapping that top note, B. Really, something slightly like different though. Oops, not that different. Uh, like that. Right, uh, if it's in the rest of these, uh, so this is going to go. Yeah, let's do it like that. So let's have F sharp. Oops, don't want that. Uh, F sharp, E, there, and here we'll have E, and A sharp. Ugh, but not there. E sharp, uh, E there. B minor here. I should probably save this. Uh, let's go F sharp. Uh, not on that stave. Uh, sharp down to B. And then this one here will go. B. Uh, F sharp. Down here. To D. There. Oops. That's nice, something a bit hard. Right, let's see what we got. There's three bars. Cool. That is Benito. This up a little bit. Oops. Uh, maybe not that much. from the start.
and uh, that is one way you can go about writing a small binary, uh, sorry, binary form piece for strings. And I'll put a link to the piece in the description as well if you want that.